Here's a question. Should someone be able to find an organ donor online? Well, that question is being raised once again here in Denver. A woman was turned away from one hospital by a transplant surgeon and is now scheduled for surgery at another. CBS 4's Catherine Blake is live at Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center. And Catherine, the patient in this case is a doctor who works at PSL. Yes, she is, Kathy. Angie Carranza didn't know her donor before all of this started. Now she says they are like sisters. She is speaking out about her experience, she says, to help people understand more about it. I didn't have dialysis. I took die and I'm weak. Angie no, Carranza no. has been battling health issues her whole life. She was born with a cleft palate. At age seven, she began losing her hearing. When I was in college, I went deaf. She had a hearing device implanted behind her ear. Then while doing her residency, trouble started with her kidneys. Last July, they failed. It was devastating. She immediately began looking for a kidney donor. After her relatives and friends were ruled out, she posted her profile on MatchingDonors.com. A high school teacher from Ohio responded. She feels she's been very blessed all her life, and she wanted to bless someone else. But the lead transplant surgeon at Presbyterian St. Luke's Hospital wouldn't do the operation, saying matching donors is... It's not ethical. Carranza disagrees. She says the website waives membership fees for patients who can't afford it, and she says her donor isn't getting any compensation. She also works at Presbyterian as a physical rehabilitation doctor. She asked to speak to the transplant surgeon, but he refused. He wasn't even willing to listen to his own colleague, and that bothers me. Porter Hospital agreed to do the surgery as long as the donor underwent psychological testing. She did. Now the surgery is set for next Wednesday. I feel wonderful. I feel at peace. I feel like um, I'm ready. I'm so ready. And Presbyterian released a statement tonight saying the hospital does believe these transplants can be done under certain guidelines, but the hospital says certain doctors still don't feel comfortable with it. A spokesperson also says, quote, we know that our friend and colleague is in good hands and we wish for her and her donor a fast recovery after their surgeries. Tom, it's important to point out that Carranza does not blame the hospital. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Catherine. Well, it would be illegal for people to sell their organs for transplant. The donors on MatchingDonor.com can receive payment for expenses such as travel and lost wages, but the donor in this case paid for her expenses herself.